Hey guys, I just bought some Rio Grande Elite in Weight Forward 7, and I'm basically going to use that for hunting carp. And I just clipped the loop off, and I wanted to show you guys the constriction knot that I use. So I'm going to start. I've got some amnesia in 20 pound test, and I'm just going to leave everything connected to the spool itself. But out the left hand side, I've got about uh, 10 inches or so of amnesia. And to the right, of course, this goes to the spool. And I'm going to start by creating a loop at the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right on top and I'm gonna go through that loop five times. So I'm gonna go one. And the only trick here is that you wanna keep your mono basically from wrapping over top of itself. So there we go. I'm gonna pull the slack out. So I'm gonna pull the amnesia from the right. I'm going to pull a little out the top with the goal of just making sure that the fly line itself doesn't get kinked. If it does, just pull straight on it and just taking my time because what you want are the wraps to be sequential. You want them to be straight and you want them to be lined up. And the way that you achieve that is just by taking your time, using your fingernails to push things together, by pulling on all the different pieces of mono until you get things lined up, you get things nice and straight. So that looks really nice. I'm gonna pull it down towards the end of the fly line. Looking good. Leaving myself about half an inch at the end. And now I'm going to grab some Dr. Slicks. I'm gonna put them on the piece of amnesia, which is out 90 degrees. And I'm going to start just wrapping it around itself and what that's doing is tightening the knot and by pinching it between my fingers I'm not allowing the loops basically to back off again I want everything nice and sequential so that looks good everything looks nice it's lined up it's where it should be I'm happy with that do one last push together, making sure everything is nice and aligned. Looks really nice, because remember that's what's gonna be going through your guides. And now I'm going to pull a little more on that 90 degree, and now I'm gonna pull both pieces. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just wanna make sure that everything stays nice, sequential, flat. That looks great. All right, so next part, time to do some trimming. Then we're gonna put a little UV on there. So scissors come out. And I'm going to trim what was the 90 degree tag and do that nice and tight. Good. Now right out the bottom do that line. That's good. Right out the bottom. All right, that looks great. And just one last time, I'm gonna pull tight. Make sure nothing's gonna slip, nothing's gonna move. Looks great. For years, this is how I would have uh, fished that knot and how I would have used it. Um, I am going to, however, um, update things as we do as we get new materials. And I'm going to use a little bit of Solaris, a little bit of Flex. I'm just going to dab a little on there. And I'm not trying to create an egg shape. I'm not trying to do anything other than help make it smooth, make a nice smooth transition. So that when everything comes through the guides, 
it is smooth as silk. And I can see that tag, that little 90 degree tag is gonna bug me. I'm gonna trim that off. And then I'm gonna hit this with the UV torch and we're gonna be golden. So I'm gonna trim that. Beautiful. That looks nice. Just gonna put a little more UV on there. Right where that little tag comes out. Again, you don't have to do this step. I'm just being all about my connections. I want everything to be nice and smooth. That looks really good. Remember, once you hit it with the torch, it's final. So I'm just gonna grab my bobkin real quick and just take off whatever random excess material there is, which looks good. Make sure I got a little piece at the end. All right, very happy with that. Now, time to hit it with the torch. All right, and that's my connection. Basically what I'll do, I'll have two feet of 20, I'll go one foot to 15, I'll put in my Spro power swivel in size number 10, and that'll be my you know, base leader that I'll always use uh, for this line. And um, it holds great, it's nice and smooth, it's quiet, it doesn't leave any sort of a, you know, a reflection on the bottom, no shadow, no issues, no problems. So. Anyway, there it is, the constriction knot. Hope this helps you out.